Football's a beautiful game, but some moments are way too emotional. Now you see, I gotta start on a sad note, man. One of the darkest days in Vinicius Jr.'s life. A couple of weeks back, Vinny and his Real Madrid teammates were playing an away game against Valencia, and something tragic happened. See, every time Vinny touched the ball, the home fans were trying to get into his head. He was completely focused on his game, until they decided to do something so crazy, the entire world was in shock. Pretty soon, Vinny couldn't hold it in anymore. That's a complete disgrace, and a sad day for football, man. Vinny even got sent off, and seeing my boy in tears like that, it's awful. The guys that use racist words on Vinny are getting banned from stadiums for life. I mean, the last time I saw a Brazilian cry that hard was back in 2014, when Germany gave him seven reasons to forget 2014 ever existed. Brazil was in the semifinals of the World Cup against Germany on home turf. They had the entire country's support behind them. And for this match, the stadium was packed was without their star man Neymar and captain Thiago Silva. But with the fans behind them, they stood a chance. At least that's what they thought, until the Germans loaded the RPGs and went on a rampage. 5-0 before halftime? Awful. See guys, at halftime, the German coach Joachim Lowe even had to tell his players to calm down. But Andre Shirley went to the bathroom and missed the instructions. So in the second half, the dude legit popped two more and hit Brazil for seven. The Brazilian fans couldn't contain the tears, man. Just like the captain on the field. I haven't seen so many people crying that much since Francesco Todi retired. 2017 was a special year for Roma fans. With just a few matches left till the end of the season, club legend Francesco Todi came out to drop a huge announcement. This season will be my last. I'm going to retire. And true to his word, on the last day of the season, Toadie retired. See, Toadie played for Roma for 30 years. He's the ultimate one club legend. That's beautiful, man. I think there are tears in my eyes. Or Dama Maradona's eye. Roma's dad, Diego Maradona, was one of the OGs of football. He won one World Cup and produced one of the most iconic World Cup moments of all time. But in 2020, after being admitted for a long while, Maradona died as a result of a heart attack. The news broke football fans' hearts around the world, and in his native Boca Juniors, they paid the ultimate tribute. See, Maradona had a special seat that he and Dalma stayed in to watch matches, and this was the first time in her life she'd been coming to a game without dad. Devastating. But hey, knows her dad won't be alone now because after checking the news late last year, she realized he'd be playing football now with his best friend in the sky. Pele is the king of the game. Three World Cups, over 1,000 career goals, and crazy skills. After retiring, Brazil decided to make him a national treasure, literally. Pele was loved by so many people across the globe, including one of the most famous ballers on the planet. But late last year, his health conditions got worse, and his daughter posted this emotional photo of them in the hospital. At this point, the entire world knew Pele didn't have much time left, and on December 29th, the king became eternal. Well, on the plus side, Heaven's first 11 must be fully stacked. A lot of ballers have gotten out of the game and all, but this legend leaving in 2018 is in everyone's heart. Andres Iniesta had an awesome career. Apart from teaming up with Xavi to form a magical midfield duo, Iniesta scored the only goal in the 2010 World Cup final to win it for Spain. But as the years rolled past, Iniesta realized that at Barca, he needed to step aside for the next generation to pull through. And so, in 2018, he announced his retirement. And on his final game, the cameras managed to catch one last glimpse of the Spanish wizard. If you thought Iniesta leaving was painful, you might need a bucket, man. Because this next dude's departure, well, was a worldwide disaster. Everyone knows Lionel Messi was with Barca, man. That's just how it is. It's seen for a long time that Messi was going to retire at Barca. But in 2021, the club had a financial meltdown. 
and that's when the unthinkable happened. They somehow didn't have enough money to register players, and Messi became a free agent. The top clubs around the world immediately rushed in to scoop Leo. And after PSG won the lottery and copped his signature, it was time for Messi to say one last goodbye. I just felt my heart break. But not all moments on here are sad. See, this next dude, it's all about respect. Paolo Di Canio probably has more fights on the pitch than he has goals. But in 2000, Paolo showed he's a true gentleman. In a game against Everton, Paolo was repping West Ham when something tragic happened. Everton's goalie clashed with the West Ham player far away from his goal. And when the ball got crossed to Paolo, all he had to do was score, and West Ham would have won. But Paolo was after a different scoreline. The Everton fans appreciated what Paolo Di Canio did, and couldn't stop applause. Rival fans clapping for their opponent? That's Ronaldo's story. At the start of 2022, Cristiano Ronaldo was going through a difficult phase in his life. See, he and his partner Georgina were expecting twins, but during childbirth, only one of them survived. The news left Ronaldo and Georgina shattered. He missed United's next game away at Liverpool, but the Liverpool fans were willing to set aside their differences and remind Ronaldo that some things are just bigger than football. Now that's truly special. Or maybe they just took a page from the Euro 2022, man, after a crowd's reaction brought a player back to life. Denmark was facing Finland in the opening game. The Danish fans had huge hope for their captain, Christian Eriksen, but it seemed the weight of expectation was way too much for Eriksen. Because, with a few minutes left to halftime, tragedy struck. The entire stadium was in shock. Turns out, Eriksen had suffered a heart attack and even died. When his wife came on the pitch with his kids and saw her husband lifeless, she was in tears. But the fans refused to give up. And as soon as the medics came in, together with all the players, they began cheering Eriksen on. And in a miraculous twist of fate, he came back to life. Ericsson made a post on IG to thank them for their support. Beautiful. Not so sure if Ericsson might want to see this next clip, though. It's so emotional. It's got my heart racing just thinking about it. Coming into 2021, as he was leading Argentina to another Copa America final. He'd lost two before, and now he was hoping it'll be third time for a win. But there was just one catch. The final was in the home of their biggest rivals, Brazil. Argentina hadn't won a trophy in 28 years, but you see, this one was bound to be special, because Argentina was determined to win this one for their GOAT. And as soon as the ref hit the final whistle, the wait was finally over. Now that was full circle. But not all goats have happy endings. Last year's World Cup had a lot of riding on it. See, for Ronaldo, this was going to be the last ride, so he gave it everything. After scoring against Ghana in the opening game, Ronaldo watched his team make it to the quarterfinals against Morocco. People expected them to win this one, but they went behind early. And to make it worse, Ronaldo was on the bench. He came on in the second half, and even though he did everything, Portugal just couldn't beat it. And at the end of the 90, Ronaldo knew that the dream was finally over. To see a legend going out like that, it hurts. But hey, at least Ronaldo can rewind to 2016 on the greatest night of his life. Coming into the Euros, no one gave Portugal a chance. In the group stage, they only managed to qualify as one of the third best teams. But they somehow managed to get to the final. They were up against the host, France. Now, this one was going to be tough but it got a whole lot worse. Portugal's star man Ronaldo got injured and couldn't continue. France kept piling on the pressure, and it looked to all the world like Portugal would crack. But as the game went into extra time, with Ronaldo turning into a coach on the sides, Portugal scored against the odds, saw out the game, and at full time, Ronaldo let it rip. Look at those tears. It must have meant everything to Ronaldo. Just like it's going to be if you hit that like and subscribe button to this channel.